Right then, Brenda, into the camera. Brenda, look straight ahead into the camera. Feel it. We're outside. I want the sun. Keep it, Brenda. Look straight down. Brenda. <clears throat> Sweetheart. What? I don't know where you are, but I'm not feeling balmy breezes in okay. the palm trees. Okay. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry, girls. Just find me some of that flash you do so well. Sex appeal. Raw lust. Come on, there's somebody out there that stokes your fire, right? Who turns you on in a major way. Pretend he's here. Pretend it's me. Come on, it's in the eyes. All in the eyes. He's putty in your hands. Forget it. Forget it. Um, right. Uh, why don't you, Frederico, run along, take five, ten, whatever you take. <laughs> um, Brenda, what? Is something bothering you? Sorry. No, no, it, it, it's okay. You know, uh, I have two shoulders. They're perfectly able to... You can cry on them if you want. I mean, I'd be happy to oblige. It's just, you know, we are sort of paying Frederico by the hour, so why don't you just tell me, what's distracting you? Or should I say whom? Remember that man I told you about in your office? A man in my office. Oh, no, no, no. Not... Not the one who sent you roses? Him. The dangerous one? Unfortunately. The one I warned you about? Yes. You didn't listen to That's me. not the point. Oh, Lucy, boy, and on. now you're in over your head, aren't you? You're in over your head. Listen, I'm sorry. Let's just forget it, okay? I'll deal with it. No, 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 no. Okay. Hold it, hold it. I know about being in over your head. Boy, do I know about being in over your head. <sighs> what do I do? Swim. Swim as fast as you can. Dog paddle as fast as you can. Just get out of there and don't drown, okay? But okay. in the meantime, could we just get back to work and try not to be Yes, distracted? I'll try. I'm very sorry. I'm just having a bad day. No, we are women. We're not allowed to have a bad day. All right, here is Roar. Come on, could you just say it one more time? Right. More enthusiastic. Okay. Okay. Men who need them. Good, that's it. Okay. Here we go. Frederico, hurry Come on, Frederico. Come on. Okay, okay, beautiful. Let's go. Let's do it. Okay, let's do it. Let's go. Come okay, on. That's it, Brent. Ooh. Good. Look into the camera. Ooh. That's it, sweet. That's it, sweetheart. Great. Good. Keep it down. That's it, sweetheart. Good. That's hot. That's hot. Good. Hold it right there. Keep it in the pit. I love it. I love it. Keep it right there. Stop right there. I love it. Hold it right there. Beautiful. Beautiful. Keep it right down. Sex. Chin down. Chin down. Hold it. Hold it right there. Hi, Mr. Spatz. Good. That's great. Uh, Ooh, no. That's real. That's why you're here. <laughs> Curiosity. I wanted to come by and take a look for myself at this uh, little operation you have your eye on. Good. Keep it down. Keep it down. Sorry, Mac. My class run late. Don't worry. It's fine. How's Mac here? Last I heard of her, she was on her way to the hospital. She has pneumonia. Pneumonia? It's not good. It gets worse, Miguel. The basic cause of the fluid in her lungs is congestive heart failure. Why? She's in a lot of trouble, Miguel. Monica, thank God you're here. I can't make any sense of this. I mean, she was getting well, and then all of a sudden, just like that? I, I don't know what to think anymore. Well, Felicia will answer all of your questions in time. Uh, I'm sorry I wasn't on duty when he brought Maxie in. Was he going to take the case? Because now that we know that it's her heart, I really want you to be the one to take over. Well, I'm, I'm very flattered. But pediatric cardiology is a specialty all on its own. And it is not mine. I just want her to be in the hands of somebody that we trust. Well, she will be. I've already contacted one of the leading pediatric cardiologists in the country. And he, he said he will be available should she need surgery. I think that's going to happen. Well, I've already looked at her echocardiogram, and, uh... Look, I'm, I'm not gonna sugarcoat this, Felicia. Maxie's condition is very, very serious.
General Hasubai. Just tell me in plain English, Monica. I know I can deal with it if I know what I'm up against. Well, the heart failure caused the deterioration of arteries that carry blood to the heart. And when the heart doesn't get enough oxygen, it can't work efficiently. And then the lungs fill up with bacteria and with fluid. And that leaves her wide open to infection, which is why she has pneumonia right now. She can treat the pneumonia. Oh, yes, we can. And we are. Well, that's a good sign, right? Well, no, the problem is with the impaired arteries. There's not enough oxygen to the heart. It's not allowing it to contract properly. In other words, what I'm saying is that her heart is slowly failing. Seems so final. No, it isn't. Come on, there's always hope. Well, give me some. Okay. There is a chance, even with the impaired arteries, that there is still enough blood getting to the heart to keep the muscle alive. It's just not allowing it to contract properly. It's what's known as a hibernating myocardium, which basically means a sleeping heart muscle. Now, listen, if that's the case, then her heart could be fully restored. How? A bypass surgery. Bypass surgery. That, that's for old people. <laughs> well, actually, it's for anyone who needs it. Are you certain that she has this sleeping heart muscle? Well, I'm not certain, but I can be with a, with a new technique they have called a PET scan. And with your permission, I could get her prepped for it right away. Yeah, do it. Do it now. Okay. But I've got to warn you that even if Maxie's heart is salvageable, we can't do any kind of a surgery, bypass or otherwise, until she gets rid of this pneumonia. How long will that take? I really don't know. She's very debilitated. I couldn't make a judgment call. But her heart is failing. Okay, let's just hope that she knocks this pneumonia very quickly and... and there are no other complications. Complications? God, how many more complications can they get? Well, because of the damaged arteries, Felicia, there's a chance that she could have blood clotting. And if that does happen, there's also a chance she could have a heart attack. Look, all I want to say is that we're going to do the very best we can to save your daughter, all right? Max Scorpio of Sydney, it was a pleasure doing business with you. Anytime, Lois Cirillo of Bensonhurst. Mm -hmm. Miguel, here, this is for you, an acknowledgement of your heroic actions. Take my advice, don't use it to get air cut. What's that for? Service is rendered. Your performance the other night when my butt was in the ringer and you so graciously bailed me out. Oh, come on. I was happy to help. No, I insist. And you did more than help. You were nothing less than fabulous. You earned every penny. Lois, singing for money was not what I had in mind when I came to Port Charles, okay? <laughs> and tending bar was? Next thing you're going to tell me, you couldn't use the money. Anyone can use the money. There you have it. All right? And there's plenty more where that came from. All you got to do is let me book you more gigs. Oh, well, I'd book him back here in a minute. See? Oh. And I didn't even pay him to say that. I am telling you, with your pipes and my chutzpah, oh, we could rake in the bucks. She's <laughs> persistent, Miguel. I'd watch out for her if I were you. Yeah, I'll watch out. Don't worry. Listen, uh, are you okay alone? I'd like to be with Maxie and Felicia. Sure. Come on, no problem. Great. Thanks. Give them my best. I will. All right. Give me this. I want the real lowdown. Sit, sit, sit. sit Lois, sit. what? Lowdown. No. It is not... Just a coincidence that I run into yet another reluctant rock star. It's fate. I just have to figure out how to deal with it, that's all. Deal with what? No, 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 no. I am not buying it. You already copped to the fact that you could use the extra dough. And you're the one who's busting your chops with school and two. Count them two, dead ends, pay nothing jobs. And here I am offering you a chance to make a ton of dough doing something you love to do, yet you refuse me. Which is a very unlatin thing for a man, by the way, refusing a woman anything. So, let's cut the bolt. What's your story? Oh, 
Hello. Stone? It's me, Robin. Hey, how you doing? I'm okay. Wait, you don't sound okay. Well, the truth is, it can't get much worse. What's wrong? Maxie's sick again. She's really sick. Felicia's at the hospital with her. My uncle and I aren't even talking. Basically, I just stay in my room and wait till he leaves, and then I come out. Sounds like a drag. I hate it. I mean, everybody's ticked off at me. I have no one to talk to, and no one who actually cares. Hey, I'm not ticked off at you. And I don't like to hear you get so down on yourself. I can't help it. What if I come over there and you can dump this all on my shoulders? You'd do that? Of course. Unless my coming over there would get you in more trouble. Oh, no one's home. And you know what? I don't even care anymore. Then I'm on my way. Sexy, chin down, right up. Okay, nice. Chin down and hold it down. I'm gonna take a couple shots. Good. Okay, now looking down, looking up into the sky. Keep it down. We'll do a couple shots there. Good. Into the palm trees. Into the feel the warm sun. We're gonna do the warm sun. All right, that's great. Keep it right there. Keep it. Stop. That's perfect. Good. We're cooking now. That's great. Keep it right. Now looks great. Hold it right there. Good. Smile. I like that. Keep that. Okay, good. I'm going to keep that right there. I'm going to keep a hold it right there. No, that's very nice. It's, it's very nice, but I think the lighting might just be a little bit harsh. You know, we hate for those nasty little lines in her face to show. Lines? Brenda has skin like porcelain. Well, then, it, it's the camera. You know, the camera can be very heartless, and, and sometimes it points out flaws that you don't even know someone has. I, I think what we need here is, say, um, pink gel. Pink? Pink gel. You know, I think that's what call for. Thank you, Lucy. I'll keep that in mind for the next time. Good. Uh, pink gel. It's sort of a technical lighting lingo in kind of term. I, I, I kind of figured. You know, artists. So temperamental. You have to know how to handle that. And you handled him beautifully. Thank you. I think he knows that I know exactly what I'm doing. I mean, after all, deception is my brainchild. And a very attractive child it is. Thank you. Lucy, you may be right. This is an operation that is indeed full of possibilities. Well, then, why don't the two of us get out of the studio and get stuff in here and go discuss it in private? Oh, but, uh, can they spare you? I think they can manage without me. After you. I don't want to get you in any more trouble. Well, I seem to be doing that pretty well without any help from anybody lately. So did Sonny get all over you when he found out that I drove his car? <laughs> well, he wasn't thrilled. But, now we worked it out. Bottom line is, Sonny trusts me. Wish I could say the same for Mac and me. Yeah, he got all over your case? Well, it is my own fault. I mean, I did know better. I shouldn't have been speeding, and I shouldn't have been driving without a license driver. As for the wine, I'm positive I didn't have enough to screw up my head, but that was pretty stupid, too. I mean, I know I blew it, and I admitted it. Sean understood that, but not Mac. I mean, he has to overreact, and now I'm going to pay for the rest of my life. Hey, now who's overreacting? I'm not. I mean, how reasonable is it for Mac to forbid me to see you? I guess that that's his problem. 
sure is. Now, what are you going to do about it? Well, he can't stop me from seeing you. I mean, that's what we both want. It's what I want. And that's the way it's going to be. And if he doesn't like it, he's just going to have to live with it. Can I go with her? No, not this time. But it's going to be worth the wait. The scan is going to let us notice what we're dealing with. In the meantime, I would suggest the two of you just go for a walk, get some fresh air. Thanks, Monica. Great. All right, that's great. That's hot. We're doing it. If any luck, we'll wrap this up before Lucy gets back. Oh, I like the way you think. All right, okay. good. Keep that right there. Chin down. Hold it right there. Hold it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to interrupt. We can take five. We have one more setup before we wrap. <laughs> nice. No, whatever you call that thing you want. Flowers. Dynamite. We sell a lot of perfume in that. That's the whole idea. So, uh, this is where you work? Yeah. So, now you've seen me work and I've seen you work. The only difference is I get to clock out in one piece. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. I'm in, I'm in one piece. I'm here, I'm fine, and I'm sorry. It's not good enough. Well, it, it, it was nothing, Brenda. A little misunderstanding about business. <sighs> now it's over. Is it? We won't be reading headlines tomorrow, Sonny. Someone shot again, maybe killed this time. Nobody got hurt except for a few, obviously, ruffled feathers. I hate it that it scared you. Scared? I'd settle for scared, Sonny. Do you know that I couldn't sleep last night? I can't even work. You just stopped shaking an hour ago, and now you walk in here and it just starts all over again. Nothing to be frightened of. You could have been killed. Right? Right? Can't handle that. All right, as you can see, right, 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 right here. Here. I, I have charted the um, quarterly sales mm -hmm. figures, uh, all five quarters. And, and look at that jaunty little angle. It just goes up, up, up into the sky, up, up. How often do you uh, introduce new photo campaigns? Um, seasonally, you know, summer, spring, winter, fall. Mm -hmm. It sort of follows the um, fashion industry perfume does. And, well, I, I know this stuff. It, it really is, I don't know, it seems to be in my blood. Who designs the new campaigns? Our creative team. Look. Let's get back to the financial world of deceptions, shall we? Okay, now look in there. The profit margin is very significant. Mm -hmm. Damien, I'm telling you, this is an extremely sound investment. It all looks good. Good? Mm -hmm. It looks great. Your money would be as safe as if it were under my mattress. Um, if it was under your mattress. Come on. I I'm really serious about this. You can put your money into this investment and, and buy this company for me, and I promise you, you will see the fastest turnaround that you've ever seen in your life. I'll pay you back so fast your head'll spin. Lucy, obviously the uh, numbers look good, and I have no doubt you would run the company very well, creatively speaking. In fact, the whole concept appeals to me. But there is is one question that needs addressing, and it, it's fundamental. All right, what is it? What's in it for me? So? What's the real deal? Story of your life. What makes you think there's something else beyond what you see? You want to know? Okay, I'll tell you. I'm looking at a guy with a sizable amount of charisma. That's a very, very valuable commodity. Hmm? And the audience, they love you. 
only an experienced performer learns how to handle a crowd the way you do. So, there's something more going on here, right? Am I right? I am right. I am right. I knew it. Okay. All right. So I'm listening. Come on. I can't tell you. Of course you can. No, I can't, Lois. It's, it's very serious and very, very complicated. I can deal with complicated, Miguel. And I swear, you can trust me completely. You know, I already know the problem. It's tearing me straight in the face. You got burned somewhere down the line, right? Badly. I knew it. So, uh, so what, uh, you were uh, in a band in the States? Puerto Rico. So, what? The other band members, they cause you grief? Well, the guys were great. Did you have a record contract? We were working on it. We were what you would call a rising star. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. So what was the problem? Managers. Oh, they made some bad calls, right? Mm, we had problems, and... It just broke the relationship. So, uh, how did things work out? I left. You walked out on your contract? Well, not exactly, although I'm sure that's what they see. So did you go to a lawyer? You know, there are ways of working these things out if you know the right people. No lawyer could help me out of this one, Lois. So the best thing was to... <laughs> to give up my singing for good. What? Yep. No, that's a crime. Well, that was the only way, Lois. And I must insist for you to respect what I've told you. Oh. Look, I, I respect it. I can only imagine what you're not telling me. Miguel, I want to help. Lois, you are a remarkable woman. But not even you can help me out of my problems. They're insurmountable. Miguel, I don't know the meaning of the word. You were worried about me. It's nice, I like that. Of course I was worried about you. Next time it could be me instead of you that they take. There won't be a next time. I know. That's what I'm trying to tell you. What? That I can't do this anymore. It scares me, Sonny. Oh, I see. You never, you, you, this was all a big surprise to you. You never realized that my friends were slightly off-center. That my, that, this was all a, a boat out of hell for you, right? Is that right? I thought that I could handle it, but I can't. Oh, you could handle it all right when, when, I, when I was small time. Right? Those were some kicks, huh, babe? Stop it. Come on, don't do this, Brenda, okay? Sorry. <laughs> if, you, if you're gonna do it, make it real. We were moving along nice and easy and smooth and slow, and now we're just barreling forward, and it's too fast for me. You think it's fast? Huh? We haven't even left the station. Well, good, then I still have time to get off. Really? Okay, is that what you want? Did I say that's what I want? Yes. Do I have another choice? That simple? That simple? It's not that simple. All right, what, what you need to do is think about it. Don't, don't do anything rash. Can you do that? I don't know. For me? I don't know. As a, as a, as a favor? You don't want to jump off a moving train, Brenda. That's suicide. Take all the time you need. Federico! Federico, let's do this!
Brenda. Brenda, where are you? Fine. What do you want from me? Just tell me. I don't know. I'm scared. Of what? Of being with you. Go back? Yeah. Yes. I'm fine. Are you all right? Yes, I'm fine. I'm fine. Fine. All set. How's my light? Works for me. I'd like to see Kevin for a minute. Are you serious? Come on. Good morning. Hi. I didn't get a chance to uh, thank you for your quick thinking last night. Figuring out Maxie's pneumonia, getting her to the hospital. Lucky for us you were there. Well, I'm glad I could help. Do you mind if we join you? No, of course not. Please, sit down. Thank you. Well, I'm not trying to offer false cheer. Obviously, Maxie's condition is very serious. But let's hope she is a candidate for a bypass operation. Nowadays, in the hands of a skilled surgeon, that procedure is simply a good morning's work. That makes me feel better. It's intended to. What if the scan shows that the bypass won't help? Well, then I'm sure Monica will move on to the next alternative. What is that? Felicia, why don't you take this one step at a time? Because I'd like to know. All right. If Maxie's heart muscle has been too damaged for a bypass to be effective, then I think the next consideration would be a transplant. Heart transplant? But you're not there yet. And... I'm a psychiatrist, not a pediatric cardiologist. May I uh, ask a word of advice related to your area of specialization? Of course. I mean, I didn't think you'd mind since you offered so generously most of the time. I tend to do that, don't I? Yeah. Ask away. I think we should contact Maxie's father, Frisco. No. Hold on a minute, Felicia. I would be grateful for the uh, doctor's opinion on this. Mac. Doesn't he know that she's ill? No, he does not. Look, if, if Maxie's condition is as serious as they're telling us, Frisco should know. I happen to agree with Mac, Felicia. It's not only his right to know, but it's a father's obligation to be here. Well, maybe see. For once, 
Kevin and I are in total agreement. I mean, that in itself is pretty significant. Does anyone know where Frisco can be reached? You're both jumping to a conclusion. Just because Frisco hasn't been around for the good times, what makes you think he's going to come back to poor Charles at the first sign of a problem? Not no one unless you give him a chance. Analyze this, doctor. Why would my future husband be so eager to hang around with my ex-husband? Because it's the right thing to do, Felicia. Actually, it indicates a level of confidence in yourself and your relationship, with which, Mac, I'm frankly impressed. Thank you, Kevin. You're welcome. Please. Well, the thing to do now is try and determine why Felicia is so determined to keep Frisco out of the picture. Because it's the last resort. Calling Frisco would be the last resort. And I can't take that. Well, it's obvious why you want 100% of deception, but uh, why on earth would I bankroll you? Oh, come on. Couldn't you just consider it a simple little loan to a dear and cherished friend? I hate to point it out, but probably one of the only true friends you have in Port Charles. Well, how presumptuous of you. Well, why don't we start maybe a little list of the loyal? Yeah? Well, I'll compare mine to yours any day. So you're telling me that in order to repay you for your friendship, you want my help in this acquisition of a little company? Yes, exactly. And I will pay you back fair interest rate. And what? I'll pay you back within, say, two years, tops? Well, let's not get into details right now. I mean, after all, how do you even know your partners will sell it? Oh, I can handle... Scott and Julia. All I need is to make sure I have the financial backing, and that's where you come in. Come on, Damien. Are you with me on this? Well, it is food for thought. It's mm -hmm. fact. This is more tempting than uh, even I can say. Who is it? I'm so glad you're home. I thought you might be at school. Oops. Stone? Uh, am I interrupting something? Uh, not really. Look, I should go. Well, you don't have to. Look, if your uncle comes back and he finds the three of us together, he's gonna think there's some conspiracy going on or something. You two are alone here. Don't start with me, Brenda. I'm sorry, I was just making an observation. Who am I to judge? Exactly. Come on, Mac, intimidate you. He doesn't. It's really, it's just better if I go now. Look, I'll call you. I'm counting on it. We are in trouble. We are in so far over our heads with these guys, it's not even funny. Well, I'm handling just fine. No, you don't want to go through what I went through last night, Robin. What happened last night? Sonny and I were at his apartment together. You two were alone. Very funny, I'm older than you. Listen to me. We were at his apartment. And these two huge guys barged in the door, and they grabbed Sonny. I mean, literally grabbed him. And they dragged him out. Robin, they kidnapped him. I don't even know where they took him. I thought he was dead. Oh, well, what did you do? I started screaming, and Stone ran up. Do you know what to do? That is not the point. Now, you need to listen to me. The point is... It looks like Sonny is involved with some bad stuff, and, you know, Stone works with him, so that means he's involved in it, too, and we have to be crazy to hang out with them. My relationship with Stone is more than hanging out. Right. 
You know, I knew that something had changed when you stopped calling him Mike and started calling him Stone. Why'd you do that? Out of respect. I mean, he wants to be called Stone, and what am I to tell him any different? You really like Stone, don't you? More than that. Stone's different. I knew it the very first time he touched my hand. There's like this electricity that passes through us. I feel it in the pit of my stomach. I know how you feel. When we kiss, my knees shake and... My chest hurts so bad, I feel like I'm gonna burst. I've never felt anything like this. I hear you. But you know what's really different? Stone feels the same way. I mean, I just know his knee shake and his chest hurts like mine. Oh, God. It's incredible. Great. This is worse than I thought. <sighs> Maybe we're actually good at that. How can anything that feels this good be bad? You're not afraid? Only that I'll disappear. This is it, Brenda. It's my turn. Oh, Robin, I hope you're right. Because I have a feeling if we make a mistake, we're going to be in big trouble. Oh, no. What? Frisco Bear, we left the house in such a hurry, I forgot to get him. She loves the bear so much, when she wakes up, she's going to want to see him. Well, she feels that way about the bear. Imagine how happy she'd be about seeing the real thing. Mac, even if I wanted to reach Frisco, I wouldn't know how to start. I'll call the WSB headquarters in Washington. They can point us in the right direction, Felicia. I'll even make the call for you. Can we just concentrate on what's going on right here? Until Mac gets through these tests. Yes, 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 of course we can. So I'm just trying to make things easier for you, that's all. And you always do. Well, look, how about if I call Miguel up? Okay, I'll ask him to stop by the house, pick up Frisco Bear, and bring him to the hospital when he reports for a shift. I love you. That wasn't the question, but uh, thank you. You know, Miguel, if you would just put yourself in my more than capable hands, I can get you back to where you belong, which is behind a mic, singing your heart out. You're very kind, Lois. And you have an incredible energy, but for both of our sakes, I must insist, stay out of it. Out back. Good morning. Mac, how's Maxie? Well, she's uh, going through tests right now. Listen, I need you to do a favor for me. You'd make a little girl very, very happy. Anything you want, tell me. Great. Uh, could you stop by the house on your way to the hospital? Uh, in the in the cash box, there's a key. Up in Maxie's room, she's got an oversized teddy bear with a large satin bow tied around its neck. Sounds critical. You have no idea. Don't worry. Mac will be there. You have our undying gratitude, mate. Well, uh, I gotta go. Gloria is going to kill me. I gotta catch a puddle jumper, meet my mom in Brooklyn. Got a big shopping day ahead of us. Major credit card action. Sounds like fun. You have no idea. Look, Miguel, I may be leaving. This is not the end of it. Well, I would say it is. I'm sorry, Lois, but I guess you're gonna have to find yourself another singer. Barrett Industries, Julie.
Julia Barrett's office. Uh, yes, this is Damien Smith calling long distance from Port Charles, New York. Is Miss Barrett available? I'm sorry, sir. She's not. Would you care to leave a message? Uh, yes, please. Um, would you tell her to call me back at the Port Charles Hotel? She knows the number. Uh, just tell her I have a uh, proposal that she might find very intriguing. Thanks. Taking too long. It can't be good. Well, we finished the PET scan and we have the results. People are talking about NYPD Blue. TV Guide called it simply the best drama on the air. Find out what everyone's talking about. Watch NYPD Blue tonight. Rental discretion is advised.